just finished watching the Aladdin movie. Um, and uh, honestly, wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. Um, my favorite scenes were the musical numbers. I thought they were beautifully done. I love the costumes. Um, I love how they put the Arabian, like more of an Arabian twist on it with the dances um, and even the music and everything. I really did love that. I loved the actors, but in all honesty, my honestly my favorite scenes were those with Will in them. I love Will Smith. Um, and I like his take, his different take on the genie. It is a different take on the genie, which is fine. No one can replace Robin Williams. We know this. Um, but like, my favorite scenes were the ones with him in it. Like, I just felt like the direction that they had the actors go in, they just weren't strong enough characters. Also, another thing that really bothered me was, um, especially in the beginning. I know they cut out a lot to add in new things, which I love the song Speechless that a lot, uh, Jasmine sings. I love that. I love that they gave her more of a empowerment feel um, to be salt in herself. I love that a lot. But my concern was, or my problem with it was with them taking out scenes in the original movie, like different parts, they tried to kind of like just throw in explanations as like okay we're gonna cut this scene out as in why they find out this information and we're just gonna throw it in here um for example aladdin when aladdin figures out that he doesn't have the lamp um at the end when jafar gets it they just flash back to him in another area not having it and then flash back to where they were it's and it's like really i almost wish that they had just left that part out and had aladdin just showing up going hey you have my lamp you know what i mean the it just made especially in the beginning it just made the pacing really weird it's like we're just kind of kind of fast forward through this because we don't have time to do it that was my main concern with the movie it just made the pacing weird and the fact that like the strongest character was will i loved a whole new world i do have to say i loved a whole new world Again, I love the musical numbers, but other than that, I just feel like, I feel like it was the direction, like the direct, I think it was the director's problem. I don't think it was the actor's problem. Um, Cause I've seen the actors do other things and they're good. So um, even Will, some of the lines um, that were said, like the delivery, I was like, really? That's the way we're going with it? I had no other issues with it. I really did like the movie. My main complaint with seeing the movie there were a ton of like little children in it that talked through like the whole thing throughout the theater. Um, and I sat at the dine, I did the dine in theater and that was the first time I've ever really had that bad of an experience with kids there. Cause like you expect them to be at the other theater, but like they talked through the whole thing. And I'm talking like there were a lot of under five year olds and there was a baby in there as well, which is fine. But it's like, I don't know. I know it's a kids movie, but I just feel like if your child, your child should be a certain age and behavior to take them to a movie so it doesn't disrupt everyone else seeing it. So anyway, um, I still like enjoyed the movie. Um, I'm glad I did the, um, with the Stubbs rewards, you get $5 for Tuesdays. Um, and for that fact alone, I may actually bid for Tuesdays off if I can with my new job. I don't know what my job schedule is right now, um, but that's why I was able to see Pikachu and Aladdin today. Um, but uh, I really like it. I wish they came out with more early on um, for Aladdin. I've always loved Jasmine. Jasmine's been, always been one of my favorite characters and I think this movie makes me love her even more. Um, I think she and Elsa are now like at a tie now instead of it being Ariel, Elsa, Jasmine. I think it's Ariel and then Jasmine and Elsa. Um, just because Jasmine, I've always loved Jasmine for that confidence and that strength that she's had. Like I'm not going to let any man push me aside or I'm not going to let anyone speak for me. Um, like the Speechless song. There have been a lot of moments where I've been working at Disney and felt just pushed aside and that song would have been really cool. Anyway, loved Will. I loved his take on it. I think Will would be proud. I think Will would be happy. Or not Will, uh, Robin. I feel like Robin would be happy with the performance. Um, yeah, I really hope that they bring more Aladdin stuff to the parks. I do have to say that. Anywho, 
that is my opinion on the match on this movie review on this movie literally every scene that Raja was in I was like Kiki it's Kiki Kiki cat if Jared is my Aladdin and I am Jasmine then Kiki is definitely Raja if Kiki was a tiger she would be just like Raja <laughs> I think it's funny, the entire time I've been in this princess section, they've played part of your world. <laughs> like the entire time, it's like on a loop. Do you think it'll fit me? No. Little Jasmine. I actually really did like her dresses in the movie. I loved the, the blue one it was actually my favorite because of the peacock colors. I go. He came out of the cave of wonders. All sparkly. I really wanted to get one of these, but I think that the flavors just aren't my style. Pretty though.